everybody, it's Ian, the Off-Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Today, as I look at my calendar of holidays, is March 29th, so it's uh, Vietnam Veterans Day, so make sure to thank those veterans who fought in Vietnam. Today's card was an experiment as um, I didn't know what all the foil quill can do. I know that it says it can work on wood and on leather and stuff like that, so I wanted to kind of test that and see how well it would work on a very textured surface, which is watercolor. Watercolor is a lot of fun to work with, and as I've been brainstorming on the foil quill and what all I could do with it, this card started to form in my mind, especially getting that USB, which you'll see in just a moment. I really love how this card came out and it really like sprang from my imagination and it even came out better than what I could think it would be. So this, this is pretty awesome and I really can't wait for you to see how this card went together. If you don't know what I'm talking about and the foil quill, make sure to go check out my video up here in the iCards and down in the description. I'll link to the intro video for the foil quill. This is the thumb drive that I got. I don't remember the specific name. I think it was like icons and words or something like that. Um, this one is the unicorn. It has the image of the unicorn on it. This is the USB drive that you can pop into your computer and import different images. It looks like it might be a little out of focus, but if it has a unicorn on it, that's the one that I am using for today's project. I've already gone ahead and taken the image and put it into Cricut Design Space, got it all imported and ready to go. So uh, that's all good to go. I'm gonna set the thumb drive off to the side here and we're gonna be using some Canson XL watercolor paper. This is cold press. Uh, the nine, nine inches by 12 and a half inches, 140 pound uh, watercolor paper. And I've gone ahead and taped it down onto my board already. So that way it is ready to go for today's project. Uh, this piece of paper is approximately like four and a half inches by about uh, six inches. So a little bit bigger than your standard A2 size card. However, I'm gonna be cutting it down. I even still, I wanted to make sure not to go too far into the paper with my purple tape whenever I'm taping it down. I will have to heat set this, so I wanna make sure that this uh, doesn't warp too much. It's gonna warp, it's gonna happen, but I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, we'll kind of play around and see what happens and try to get it a little flatter maybe. But anyways, today's colors that I'm gonna be using for the water coloring, if I don't drop them, I'm gonna be using a, a re-inker, and I'm gonna be using fossilized amber, carved pumpkin, and abandoned coral. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go yellows to reds or reds to yellows, but that's these are the three colors I'm gonna be using for today's project. So uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of water coloring. I'm fairly happy with how this turned out. I um, really kind of like this blend a lot, how it goes from that uh, nice uh, abandoned coral into the fossilized amber. I think this has a lot of um, great texture to it. It is gonna get cut down, so I don't have to worry about the edges so much. And this splotch right here, this is where I took up some of that color, soaked it up using a paper towel. But again, I, I'm not too worried about that. I think it adds texture to it. I do wanna add a little more texture, so what I'm gonna do is spray a little bit of spray into my hands and then just kind of splash it onto the front here and try to get a couple more of like uh, uh, removal of color basically. So that way it gives it a little more interest because to me right now, 
it's a little not necessarily bland but like I could I, I want a little more texture to it so I'm gonna put that water on it give it a couple of seconds maybe even kind of move that water around a little bit and then I'm gonna remove it using a paper towel it did warp a lot even with the tape and that's not a big deal um, I'm gonna try and work on getting it to flatten out a little bit sometimes you can put it in between two plates um, whenever you put it into like a, a a uh, die cutting machine like a cuddle bug or you know something like that that's better I, I'm still I still want a little more of that texture on there so I'm gonna go in again with some more drops of water and just try to get a little more texture to it it's getting close though so uh, we'll see what happens after I pull this up Okay, I feel that looks a lot better, has some more texture to it. I'm gonna take my heat tool and just heat it up again. I really wanna make sure everything is dry because the next step, whenever we foil it, um, I, I, I know for a fact it has to be like super, super dry. So I'm gonna hit it with the heat tool just to make sure everything is as dry as possible. All right, it is now uh, completely dry. I don't feel any wet spots at all. Still nervous about if this is gonna work at all. I've never used um, watercolor paper with the foil quill, so nervous about how this is gonna work, but you know, the only way to find out is to try. Okay, I have imported my image from the thumb drive. It's an SVG, so it was super easy to bring it into Cricut Design Space. It was like uploading any other SVG. I just had to change it instead of cut into a right uh, image, and so now it's going to write using the foil quill onto the panel hopefully so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click make it and now i'm going to go ahead and use snap mat to grab the image of my mat and now that i have grabbed the image of my mat all i'm going to do is tap on my image and bring it onto the card where i think i want it um i think i'm gonna put it somewhere this is hard because it's like trying to imagine exactly what you want it to be, but you know, ultimately it's going to come out wonderfully, excuse the pun, but it's gonna come out great no matter what I do. So I think I want it there. I think that's kind of where I want everything to be. Something close to that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and click continue. I'm gonna to connect to my device and we're gonna go ahead and use the foil quill to fold this up. I currently have the largest quill inserted into the accessory A side. I'm gonna go ahead and click the go button for it to foil everything. I have set my Cricut to 140 pound watercolor cardstock, so that way it knows that this material is a little bit thicker. And let's see how well it does. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. I'm really quite nervous about this. I'm hoping this worked the way I wanted it to, but we'll just have to wait and see once we pull the foil off of the card front. It did go over. I did use the largest quill, like I said, and I did let it heat up for the five minutes that you're supposed to let them heat up for. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually genuinely nervous at this moment to see if this worked out the way I wanted it to. Don't forget guys, this is reusable, so you can stick this um, and store it somewhere if you want to, so that way you can come back and use it again. All right guys, here is the moment of truth. Let's see how well this worked. Oh my gosh, it worked so well. Ah! Guys, look at how awesome this is. I'm so, I know you can tell, but I'm super excited about this. Look how, how well it works. It is really textured paper, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna work all that well. And you can see the texture in the foiling, but I think that makes it, uh, I really think that actually adds character to the card. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm shocked, I'm surprised, I, I don't even know what I am to be honest. Uh, it looks great though, super excited about this. Before I put away my foiling quilt, I did just wanna quickly mention that uh, I bought a art bin from the container store and it has all three, my uh, largest one is currently cooling so I have it still out. 
but it contains everything I need, all the adapters, the tape, um, I can even stick my used washi tape up here on the top of the lid so that way I can reuse it. Uh, really great way to put all of this together and then I have a place for the instructions on the very top. All right, I have my largest stitched rank tangle die from Simon Says Stamp and I'm just gonna put a little purple tape onto it to hold it into place. Uh, my die is very well loved and so it um, kind of warps a little bit. Uh, so I have to add a little bit of extra um, encouragement to stay to tell it to stay where I want it to. Um, like I said, these are the stitched rectangle dies from Simon Says Stamp and I'm gonna put this through my cuddle bug and get this die cut. I now have simple sentiments from um, Cassie Zilski and Simon Says Stamp and I'm gonna grab this great freaking job. Love how uh, Kathy takes such uh, such like I would totally say that I would say that all the time actually, uh, and I love that she has stamps that represent my kind of everyday talk. So I'm gonna grab that on uh, my acrylic block. I feel like this is like way too big for what I need it to do, but it's still gonna work. Anyways, I'm gonna get this all set up, and then uh, I think I'm gonna grab some uh, embossing powder. And my, I think I'm gonna grab some Brutus Monroe um, Gilded. I think that will match the wonderful stamp. I don't know, well, let's find out. I mean the wonderful uh, foil on here. Let, uh, let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, I changed my mind. When, when do I not change my mind? Uh, I grabbed some alabaster from Brutus Monroe. I'm gonna stamp this using some Versamark ink, which is a clear sticky ink. If you've never used it before, great for embossing and I am uh, inking it up. Hopefully I get it right the first time, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna stick that down right there. Looks like it did well. So I'm gonna take this and put the embossing powder on and heat it up. So it looks like uh, I got some speckles everywhere. I forgot to use my antiseptic powder tool on it before I did the stamping. Um, it also did not give me like an even coating on uh, on it, I, you know what? I don't freaking care. It's it's fine. It is fine. Like just because I don't have the perfect stamp does not mean that it's ruined. It does. It doesn't. It gets the message across, and that's the most important thing. I bet you, if you were to ask any of the um, celebrity card makers, like, you know, oh, I, I didn't get this perfect. Does that mean my card is ruined? No, not at all. Not even close. So. You know, could I go stamp it again? Yeah, sure. Could I? Sure. Absolutely. Am I going to? No, because it's just fine. All right, I have my card base for my card panel to go on to. This is Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. Uh, this is typically what I use for uh, whenever I'm making uh, card bases and stuff. I'm going to use some Tombow Extreme. It looks like my runner has gotten off the tracks a little bit, so I'm going to fix that really quickly. And uh, then I'll use it to um, add uh, the, um, <laughs> I can't think for a moment. Uh, I'm gonna use that to put the adhesive onto the back of my wonderful piece. I'm gonna do it off this mat because I don't want uh, the foil to accidentally get pulled off. I don't think it would come off if I was to do this on my Ken Oliver craft mat. However, I have found in the past that Sometimes this mat does pull like ink off of cards if you're not careful um, whenever you're taping them and, and putting pressure on them. So I just want to make sure that I'm not accidentally damaging that foil, although I still think it would be just fine. Like I don't think it's going to go, I, I don't think it would actually go anywhere. But anyways, I'm using the Tombow Extreme because I do, I, I want to make sure that this watercolor piece doesn't warp in the mail or um, warp as it's as it's being sent to its recipient and I'm gonna try and put this on as straight and level as possible there's so many tips for making sure that it is but you know I just it is what it is and I think I got pretty close on that one so I'm, I'm calling that a victory last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this sentiment up on some foam tape and I've really got to cut this foam tape down. I don't have much of it left. Look how little I have left here. So let me get this all cut out and we'll put it onto the card. Okay, it is now time to place this down and this is always the fun part, deciding where it needs to go. And I like it just like that. So we're gonna stick it down just right there like that. Oh man, I freaking love this card. 
And there is the card for today with the beautiful foil on it and the great freaking job. Oh man, this came out even better than I could have thought. So yeah, I love how this card came out and I really can't wait to push that foil quill even further to see what all I can do. I just realized you could probably hear the bird in the background. I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you like my video, and then hopefully YouTube will share it across YouTube land. Also, if you're not already, hit that button down below that says subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the bell notification icon to get great updates every time I post a new video or go live. You can also check me out on my social media. Those are all listed down in the description below. Make sure to check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and more. Come get social with me and interact and say hi. I hope everybody has a great day, and remember, Remember guys, normal's just a setting on the dryer. Bye!